Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my top five all-time favorite holy grail nude lipsticks. Now listen, I'm not gonna sit here and front like these lipsticks are all super unique or different because they're not. They're all very similar. I have a definite type, as a lot of you guys know. I love my nude pink lipsticks. I love a nice creamy opaque lipstick. Four out of five of these are like a traditional creamy bullet lipstick and then one of them is going to be a liquid lipstick. But if you're obsessed with makeup like I am, then you know it is all about those subtle nuances, the undertones, and those slight little variations in shade that allow you to justify owning 50 of the same lipstick. <laughs> I'm just going to try on all five of the lipsticks for you guys and talk quickly about what I like about the formula and the color and everything like that. So if you love nude lipsticks, if you have a similar skin tone to me, then you have definitely come to the right place. All of the lipsticks will be linked down below, but let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention towards the end of the video, I am going to include swatches of all five of the lipsticks so you can see a comparison. And I'm also going to throw in a little bonus and mention my two favorite lip liners. But I am going to start off with the lipstick that I am already wearing, and that is Clinique Beige Pop. The nude lip that started it all, you guys. Let me know in the comments down below if you have been watching me since I discovered this lipstick and became absolutely obsessed with it. Before this lipstick, I thought no nudes were going to look good on me, so when I found this, I was so in love with it. It opened a whole new world of lipstick for me. If you go back to a certain point in my channel, this is literally all I wore for about six months, and this is my original tube. As you can see, there's almost nothing left in it. After a while, I did actually like stop myself from using it. I was like, okay, I need to take a break and use some other lipsticks. If it wasn't for that little break, I definitely would have gone through this a very long time ago, but I do still wear it on a regular basis. So Clinique describes this as a light pinkish nude cream. It is a true pink, and it is definitely the lightest out of the bunch of lipsticks I'm going to be talking about today. This is like about as light as I find I can go with a nude lip without it looking ghastly. <laughs> it's very opaque, it does a great job canceling out my natural lip color, and I just feel like it makes my lips look so plump and so full. I find there's something about this one, even compared to the other Clinique Pop lipsticks, like lately I've actually been wearing Nude Pop a lot. Just a quick comparison, this one is Nude Pop here. And Nude Pop is like a little bit more sheer, it's kind of like Beige Pop's cute younger sister. It's like a little bit more wholesome, whereas Beige Pop is the lipstick you're going to wear to your sugar daddy's funeral. <laughs> Clinique Beige Pop is always going to have a very special place in my heart. Next is Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect, so that is what I'm wearing on my lips now. Another one that I've put a considerable dent in. Charlotte Tilbury just describes this as a peach-toned nude. It definitely does have more of a coral vibe to it. Very suitable for spring and summer. I find the color really just like brightens up my complexion and like livens up my face a little bit, and it's just a lipstick that I find goes with absolutely everything like no matter what I'm wearing on my eyes and my cheeks I can throw this on and it just goes effortlessly and I've mentioned this before but I love this lipstick because it wears off very evenly so it's often what I'll throw on if I'm like going out to dinner or anything like that because I know I can apply it roll in with my lips looking perfect but then as I'm like eating and drinking it'll just wear off perfectly it doesn't give like a weird line around the lips or anything I know that's kind of a really weird thing to like in a lipstick but I'm really lazy when it comes to reapplying if I'm out and about I don't really want to worry about how my lipstick is looking so I love the fact that I can talk and drink and eat and everything and not worry about this third we have got bites meringue from the amuse bouche lipstick collection this one is also described as a peachy nude but I really don't consider it to be peachy at all like a especially when you swatch it next to something like Charlotte Tilbury Bitch Perfect or the next lipstick I'm going to show. Like it's really not peachy or warm at all in my opinion. It actually has like the slightest, slightest hint of mauve. Once again, I did just apply this lipstick so it is what I have on now. In comparison, this one definitely feels the heaviest on the lips but it is very hydrating because Bites lipsticks are formulated with a lot of different fruit oils and butters and things like that but it definitely like feels the thickest and heaviest on my lips. Second to last, we've got Tarte Sunkiss from the Color Splash Lipstick Collection. This one is described as a pink peach by Tarte, but it's definitely very peachy. Like you can see, it's very warm. It's almost like a pale orange lipstick. I haven't actually worn this lipstick in a very long time because in my opinion, it's very summery. I definitely reserve this more for the warmer months and it's very creamy. Like this one really glides onto the lips, but I would have to say it's probably one of the most long wearing out of my four creamier lipsticks that I'm 
talking about in today's video. There's something about this formula that's just really great. And I also love the packaging too. I love that they did something so different with like the blue marble. Tigger is chewing on a bone at my feet, so I apologize if you can hear him crunching. But today I'm wearing quite pink eye makeup. I typically wouldn't wear this lip with this eye look. I would usually wear it just when I'm wearing very warm, neutral eyes. And finally, we've got my only liquid lipstick from this video, and that is the Tarte Namaste Creamy Matte Lip paint. I think in my opinion this is like the truest nude. It has the most beige undertone. It's definitely warmer but it's not like pink or peach or coral or anything like that like some of the other lipsticks I've just shared. It does dry matte as you can see but it's not a chalky matte. It is transfer proof. I know a lot of people say that these liquid lipsticks don't last very long and that is true in comparison to like the Tarte quick dry matte lip paints. But in comparison to like another creamy liquid lipstick, like the soft matte lip creams, these definitely stay put a lot better. Like I have worn these for like a full long day and they haven't gone anywhere. So those are my top five nude lipsticks. I am going to insert a quick clip here showing a close up comparison swatch of all five shades. And this is going to be in the order that I did talk about them in the video. So hopefully you can see that they are a little bit different. And quickly, I do just want to talk about my favorite nude lip liners. So the first one is NYX Nude Pink. They they have a few different formulations of lip liners, but this is just simply called the lip liner. It's just like a classic sharpenable pencil, and it's definitely just kind of like a classic pink. This is the lip liner that I used to wear with all of my nude lipsticks, but now I typically do reserve it for shades that are more pink, like Clinique Beige Pop or Clinique Nude Pop. This works really well for those lipsticks. Since then though, I have discovered this little guy right here. This is the Bite Lip Pencil in shade number 20, and in comparison, this definitely has more of a beigey brown undertone. This goes with absolutely everything. It is a lot more universal than nude pink because it is not pink. Like for example, I couldn't wear this one with the Tarte Sunkiss because that's too peachy. This one I can, however. I have found a lip liner like this really hard to come across. Most nude lip liners are either really pink or they're too dark, but this is seriously the perfect shade. This lip liner is major holy grail status, and both of these have a really fantastic formula as well. They're the perfect balance between not too dry and not too creamy. Like they're not tugging at your lips and dragging, but they're also not going to be like sliding around. That's going to be it for today's video, you guys. Once again, the products will be linked in the description box down below, but give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Go follow me on social media. I'm at Sari Rihanna on Twitter and Instagram, and hit that subscribe button down below if you're new to my channel. But thank you guys so much for spending this time with me today. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.